will be really exciting. So let's check in with Darren Peck. So Darren, earlier you were explaining fission and fusion to us. <laughs> right, don't ask me to do that now. <laughs> but but the, I mean, that that also has get, has to get you excited too. It does. That story is one of the biggest stories in a long time. We're going to be hearing a lot more about it. Wilson did a great story today. We're going to, we'll be doing several more, I'm sure. We just did a story on space, and I'm going to stick with the space theme for a moment because that's what we look like today from 22,000 miles away. That's how far away this satellite is. But look how great we look. Anything that is white and not moving on here is snow. We're looking at about two hours worth of satellite before the sun went down. You see the clouds over here that are moving? You see the stuff over here that is not that is all snow in the Sierra. This is fantastic. If you look at the Central Sierra Snow Lab, which is kind of the bellwether for how we're doing, here's what it looks like throughout any given year, right? The ranges of what snowfall can look like. The green line is average, starting in November, going to July. Here's April 1st. You want to see where we are now? Let's bring in that first line. Look at the big jump we just did. 300% of average right now for snowfall at the Central Sierra Snow Lab. But what's important is to keep some perspective on this because we had a really good December last year and I'm gonna put in last year's line. It might be kind of hard to see, but there's last year's line. A great December and then nothing and nothing. And then we trailed off and it was not a very good year for snow. And it was far more impressive in December than what we have now. So it's just a little perspective. We did great with snow. We needed to keep going. There's still light snow falling here on first alert Doppler. We're not seeing anything, though, in terms of rain coming our way. And when we look at the big picture on the future cast, we're out of the storm track now. So we don't talk about rain. Watch this storm really kind of get denied as it tries to get closer to us. So that's not a promising sign. What we do have instead now is cold air. The storm's gone, left all the cold air behind. So there's a freeze warning for the North Bay Valleys. You're going to go down to the upper 20s tomorrow morning. Everybody else will do mid-30s, and it's likely going to stay like that for the next few days. So find the heavy jacket. You can put the umbrella away. Daytime highs will be fine. We'll be a few degrees below average. We'll pretty much be in the mid-60s. We had a great first two weeks of December. And there's a pattern in the atmosphere we've recognized for what allowed so many storms to come our way, something called the uh, Pacific North America pattern. It's got two phases. We were locked in the promising one for the last two weeks, the negative phase. If you're in the positive phase, California doesn't get much in the way of storms. For the last two weeks, we were in the negative phase, which is great because we want storms. We can forecast what the Pacific North America pattern is going to do. If you look at the line going all the way back to August, Below, the straight line is negative. Above it is positive. Look what happened in early November. We went negative and we got some storms. Then the storms turned off until early December and we were getting storms. Here's the forecast going forward. It's a spaghetti plot because we're using the ensembles. They all pretty much agree. We're about to start likely going positive again, which means if you just looked at this, most likely the storm track's gonna turn off. But if you look at the long range forecast for January, February, and March, it says we're more likely than not going to stay below average. So we had a great first two weeks of December. Let's hope it comes back because for the next seven days, it's a distant memory and we'll have to see how things play out from here.